Welcome to the world of shortcuts. This is a super exciting, but sometimes confusing place. And so I'm here to help you get started. In particular, I want to show you some of the best beginner resources, how to add untrusted shortcuts when you find some online and show you some people that you can trust so you can find more shortcuts for them in the future. I really love the accessibility and the power that the shortcuts app and previously workflow provides for all of my technology. Back in the day, I loved the original version of this app so much that I literally applied to work there and help them with their marketing. So I ended up working at Workflow on the original version of the gallery, which is actually still in the Shortcuts app today. If you browse through the gallery, you can see lots of great examples, but after that, we realized people really do need documentation. And so I worked on the original version of the workflow documentation that's now the Shortcuts user guide, which many people don't know about, and really walks you through all of the very basics of Shortcuts. It's a great resource and I recommend you check it out. It goes all the way from interface changes to some of the fancier stuff you can do with API calls, which is super exciting. So once you've gone through the gallery and found everything that you found interesting, and then you went through the Shortcuts user guide, you're actually in a pretty good place to get started. Ultimately, Apple isn't going to teach people everything they need to know about shortcuts, and that's kind of where the rest of us come in. So after I left the company and Apple turned Workflow into the full Siri shortcuts feature set, I realized people still need to learn how this works, and so I've gone out and created my own videos, plus now I've got a curated collection of shortcuts in my shortcuts catalog that you can check out. So this consists of starter shortcuts to help you get going with all of the basics. And each of these has a bunch of menus in them too. So you can see all of the different functionality that you can get out of just a single shortcut. I've also curated all the 300 or so actions in the shortcuts app into what I call the action directory, just so that you can see what's possible outside of the shortcuts app. And also I can relate all the shortcuts that I've created back to those actions. I've also created a second set of more powerful shortcuts for my membership program. Some of these are exclusive, but some are also pre-release ahead of when I'm putting them into these videos. And I've also got live streams where I can interact with people directly and we can learn shortcuts together. Plus to keep people up to date with any new shortcuts I'm adding to the free version or the membership and anything else that's new that's happening with shortcuts, I've got a weekly newsletter that you can sign up for. Links to everything will be in the description below. As you can imagine, when you start to get into the world of downloading shortcuts from online, Apple had a couple of security concerns, and so there are a couple barriers that you'll need to get through in order to add shortcuts from people that you found anywhere else. Once you go to install a shortcut for the first time, you'll run into this error dialog that's a little odd. It says, this shortcut cannot be opened because your security settings do not allow untrusted shortcuts. I actually find this message a little confusing, and it doesn't actually take you to the settings page to show you this, so it's in the settings app and then there's a new category for shortcuts. In there, you'll find the toggle. What is a little confusing though, is if you go in to find the toggle and you haven't run any shortcuts ever before, that will be completely disabled. It'll be grayed out. So you'll have to go back into the shortcuts app and create one and run it, or get one from the gallery and run that. Then once you're back in the settings app and you go to turn that toggle on, you'll also have to enter in your passcode. This does seem like a little bit much, but Apple is trying to protect you here. That way nobody can just grab your device, allow untrusted shortcuts and add something weird there. And they've got this whole privacy policy here that you can read where they really do clarify. These aren't vetted like the App Store. Normally anything that you install on iOS goes through app review. And so it is a little weird that we can just create shortcuts and share them with each other. But ultimately that has created this whole community around shortcuts because you can basically create your own app you don't have to become an app developer, and so those little app ideas that you have can just become shortcuts. You can share them with people online, it's great. But Apple being Apple, they wanna make sure nothing's weird going on, and so anytime you add a shortcut, it'll open into the gallery in the app, showing that shortcut and all of its actions. Here you can rename it so it works better with Siri according to your tastes, but you really should look at all the steps and make sure it matches the description. Nothing odd should be going on, you can literally see everything that's happening in the shortcut that should help you understand whether this is doing something nefarious or not. And even then, once you get down to the bottom, there's a big red add untrusted shortcut button. I think this does make people think that this shortcut in particular is untrusted, but really that's just a default for anything shared online. So it can be a little bit scary. You, you literally have to press a big red button. And finally, there's one last little step. So once you add the shortcut to your collection and you're all excited and ready to go, it does have per shortcut permissions for anything like GPS or contacts data. And 
This does feel like a little bit much, but this should be that final little security blanket that's like, nothing's happening unless you explicitly give it permission. Something's happening and you don't expect it, you can deny it and it won't happen. So that's great, but this does kind of create a whole atmosphere that shortcuts shouldn't be trusted that you find online. And so I wanna walk you through the best places to find those shortcuts so that you can kind of skip past that while still reviewing every one along the way. One of the largest communities for shortcuts is on Reddit r slash shortcuts. There's tons of people in there sharing shortcuts every single day. They do like to use a service that's called Routine Hub, although I don't personally use it that much. But I will say that the moderators on the subreddit are awesome and a couple of them do amazing work making sure that everything out there is not going to harm anybody. And the like shortcuts community is great to check out. There's also tons of great YouTubers who are making videos. I've become friends with Chris Lawley because he makes awesome shortcuts videos, but there's so many out there that I'm actually making a series shortcuts playlist that you can follow. I'll put it in the description too, and you'll be able to follow those shortcuts videos over time. Beyond that, there are a few people that I really do trust and I learned workflow from originally back in the day. David Sparks, also affectionately known as Max Sparky, and Rosemary Orchard. They have a podcast called Automators on Relay FM, and they talk about shortcut stuff pretty regularly. I was just on a recent episode with them, episode 70, where we talked all about my latest catalog. David also has his own shortcuts course that you can buy and get hours and hours of footage exactly walking you through all of the steps of shortcuts. And then Rosemary even has her own book called Take Control of Shortcuts. So I definitely recommend getting both of those and digging it. And then last but not least, I would say this is the godfather of shortcuts is Federico Vitici of Mac Stories. I learned workflow back in the day through Federico's writing about the app. And since then he's been doing tons of awesome shortcut stuff and his membership club Mac Stories is also excellent. I get tons of great shortcuts from there and use them all the time. So definitely sign up for that. All right, that's it for this one. Have fun playing around with shortcuts.